What's good, guys? Nerd Hour, Episode Eight, Unity. That was a strong fist you you did right there. I know. You, I you been working out? Stop, stop, stop. Don't, don't. See, it was, yeah, it's supposed to be Unity, then it turned into. See, this is how race wars have there. <laughs> oh my god. Because it's supposed to come together, then and then it just turns into something else. Ah, uh, wow. We're back. I am stoked. Hot today. Lots of energy. Uh, today, it is episode 8. We are going to discuss about, we're ranking our top, it's technically 10, but if you want to be technical, it's our top 8 MCU Disney Plus shows that's been released. Uh, we are filming this on Friday. It has been two days since Secret Evasion had come out. We will be reviewing, non-spoilers though, because we don't want to yell that again of secret invasion um we'll probably get into spoilers Wait, we, yeah, we can get a spoiler it's, i mean it's been two days yeah I mean, we could talk about five we'll, yeah, because we'll, they're gonna skip it's 2023 i'll hold up my hand this time okay spoiler hand well we also yell spoilers okay two but we added when they come back oh, they gotcha, mute gotcha. it you know okay. like they know but um we're gonna get into that we have some news uh to round up and yeah i'm very stoked for this episode how do you been it uh cool chilling um did you wear the bonnet last episode I don't, yeah i did oh i don't know why i did i wore the bonnet all right commit yeah commit. it's commit. been every uh, it's been consistent yeah um yeah um but other than that i'm chilling yeah i'm um, going to a little event after this a hype yeah. land uh, i don't know some sonic the hedgehog bullshit i don't know what it is you'll find it's it, land. And, it yeah hype land uh it's that guy co-signed by virgil it's like a hype land is like a it's a hype beast streetwear uh clothing brand that like incorporates a lot of like anime and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot his name, but yeah. You gonna get some? I creeped on the the drop. It's an exclusive drop before it goes online Monday. I might get a shirt, a Sonic shirt. It's kinda cool. I don't know, we'll see the vibe. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. But should we get into some some new? Some <laughs> but we're gonna we're gonna start off this episode. I feel like we do start off episodes where it's like the downer and then we get uh -huh. into it. Um, did you hear about uh, what happened this week? Everybody, this is this is the implosion heard around the world. Oh my God. You guys didn't hear? Rest in peace to the people on Ocean Gate. Oh my God. <laughs> Fucking disaster. Dude, like this week has been crazy. All of a sudden, this entire week, everyone has became a marine biologist. <laughs> everyone knows so much more about the ocean yeah. versus what they knew the yeah. week prior. Yeah. Like, everyone is all of a sudden... I know so much shit about the Titanic now. No. <laughs> uh, there was fucking 12 dogs on the Titanic. Did you know that? No. There was 12 dogs, three survived. Um, I am that the dogs survived? Yeah. There was only one black person on the Titanic. <laughs> Uh, and that should have showed him not to be fucking with them white people. <laughs> but was he a passenger or like? No, he was an engineer. He was a worker, and he brought his kids. Sad. And he married. He had a white woman. I mean, that's why he was on. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and you know, I learned so much um, about depths. Thirteen thousand feet underwater is a lot <laughs> that's pretty big bro because they said the eiffel tower only hits like 1500 meters yeah, yeah, yeah and and that ain't nowhere close to where old buddy is wait so was we're old yeah. guys <laughs> was the is that where they went they went 13,000 yeah they 13,000 feet God, dang, uh bro. down to the titanic God, it ranges between like 13 to 14,000 but it's deep it's like the titanic that shit sang. <laughs> that, like, that, that shit went down somewhere. Bro. Also, I didn't know where the Titanic was. It's like on the East Coast, right? Yeah, I, but I didn't know. Like, I never thought where the Titanic where was. Where do you think that Titanic Just was? Just somewhere in the ocean. Just like, I had, I never thought about where the Titanic fucking was. Mm. But, uh, yes, yeah, in between, not too far from New York. <laughs> you were really spitting out back. Yo, I I learned so fucking much. Did you know the creatures that are at thirteen thousand feet? We bear them. No, it's it's like it's like a uh, fucking translucent eels and yeah, shit. yeah, like bro. 
I learned so much this week. And one thing I also learned was not to control a submarine with a fucking game controller. Then you can buy on Amazon. I learned that from the internet. Imagine what if they, they learned that from emails and people repeatedly telling them and they did not listen. Bro, like if James Cameron is schooling you, because I learned that he went to the Titanic like 33 times. This made James Cameron more of a goat than he already is. I mean, you know, like, he built his own, like, uh, submergent craft. Yeah. He, he was the first man, like, or, like, solo first man go to the Marianas Trench. Only three people. He was the solo, first solo first man? Mm-hmm. Are you sure about that? First solo man to go to the Marianas Trench. In the Challenger? Yes. Damn, I didn't know that aspect. One out of three, you know? Wow. He, he, like, he went deep in there because, like, I mean, originally he was, like, yeah, I guess he was really fascinated, but also for the Avatar movie, he's just yeah. bits some like he was like down there, you know. I mean, like, yeah, if he's like scolding you, he did a whole interview, just like, yeah, like I can't believe, like, how do we not learn our lessons, you know, bro? Two hundred fifty thousand mm-hmm. dollars to sit in a soda can. <laughs> look, look at that shit. <laughs> look at that shit, and tell me that's worth two hundred fifty thousand yeah. dollars. And you know, they had all the time to 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 realize they didn't want to do it anymore because you have to, I think it's like a, it's, you have to take like a two day boat ride to get to the site. And then they, you, it's not like you pull up somewhere and you go down. Oh, that makes it's, sense. Yeah. Cause it's in the middle of the ocean. Yeah. So you have to take a boat there. And then they go on this thing, which launched them. Yeah. Down. Yeah. Oh, and then wow. it goes down. Uh, um, and I mean, I just hate to be like in that position and the whole internet is just flaming your ass. Yeah. It's like, oh, <laughs> oh thank you. Damn. Oh, that's, Dude, that's first, embarrassing. I, I, I think that was the first need. Yeah, that's okay. embarrassing. Hey, the first need. But, um, yeah, it's like, well, first of all, half of the week or the, the fucking three days, people just thought y'all were down there. Yeah. And just, and that's what I was blaming like, your ass cracking jokes. Saying all sorts of shit. Turns out they've been dead. Yeah. Since the day they went down there, an hour and a half after they went down, they fucking died. And then supposedly, like, came out, like, today or yesterday that, like, a military thing heard it. Yes, Navy well. Navy heard the implosion. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but it's very interesting. Um, but you know, a lot of people they, they blame. Oh, you guys do this whole time or whatever. But I can, I can play devil's advocate of being like, just because they heard something doesn't mean that that they knew what happened. <laughs> That's weird. They were like, like, what? Yeah, they they're not gonna call off a search just because they said they heard something. Yeah. They they aligned the data, but still, is not a definitive answer yeah that that was what happened so it's best that yeah they go down there and search for these motherfuckers and see what happened the only person i feel bad for is a 19 year old yeah so five people died right it was the ceo yeah. it was the ceo who broke, who broke everything out and this like world renowned like submergent like traveler yeah. and then a billionaire father with his 19 year old son and then another billionaire man with his crazy weird son that went to the blink 182 show and yeah but the, yeah. that son didn't go. <laughs> he didn't go. That son stayed back and said, I got to go see Travis Barker. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I feel bad for it because the other son he, that lost his life, he he just wanted to do something for Father's Day. Want to do something? Where it's, it's really sad. Yeah, and he and it's like you had no business being there. They said he had a panic attack before even getting on. And, um, you know, it's just like, I, shit, I would have trusted my gut. I would have been like, nah, I'm a bitch. Yeah, oh, bitch. Y'all can call me whatever y'all want. I ain't getting on that. Yeah, I'll see you on the other side. Yeah. Little did they know the other side was the other side. <laughs> oh. Um. And uh, yeah. I mean, so many things. So, so many. Things. So many things wrong with this. Uh, I don't know how it could have went right. But uh, I I do wonder when's go the next person to be like, well, let's make an expedition to go see the Titanic and the Titan. And and then the same thing. It's gonna be a chain reaction. Fucking uh, the next hundred years, there's gonna be someone who does the same shit yeah. <laughs> to go see the Titan yeah. and then the Titanic. Yeah. Um, because that shit is gonna be there. You think so? That's your little bit of like plastic. It's gonna be found 
that ocean, that's the legacy right there. The ocean is, this, is the back of this shit. It, it, that's going to be forever in the ocean, just on the floor. <laughs> and if you look to the left, there's the Titanic. If you look, you look to the there, right, there's the Ocean Gate. <laughs> the infamous Ocean Gate uh, Submariner or whatever. Bruh. But, uh, yeah, I mean, because, you know, no bodies. No bodies. Yeah, bro. You no, know, the implosion, the, if you don't know what happens when an implosion. Oh, yeah, well, I want tears. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So when an implosion happens, so basically there's so much pressure uh, at different levels of the ocean. So at this depth of the ocean, there's so much pressure. I think they said it's like something like like a polar bear standing on a penny. Like wow. the pressure is is incredible. That's why it's like you need things that that can withstand that pressure. Um, James Cameron, he went down. His submarine was mainly uh, 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 I forget what he said. Uh, it's something with a C. I don't want to misquote because then people are gonna be like, if I say ceramic, ceramic, it is, it's a fucking silicone, I think. Mm -hmm. Um, but and then theirs was titanium, aluminum, mm -hmm. and shit like that. It's tin can. Mm -hmm. And uh, so basically, what happens is if there's any puncture with the uh with the submarine or whatever. The pressure from with it, the inside, and then the pressure from the outside will basically cause it to crush in into itself. Like a can. Yeah, it just it crushes into itself instantly, like oh, like that. Fuck. And it the implosion is so powerful that it just shatters the entire thing. You're just, like, is and it's tough for me to process an implosion because like we know explosions yeah. like crazy, but it, something that can just force itself into itself so powerfully that it shatters like and so so the thing with the bodies is that within that the bodies get the pressure of the water and everything the bodies basically turn to liquid like it is they are shredded like you know they just die less they die, yeah, and die immediately less than like like it's like milliseconds but it's it's also less than uh uh your brain is able to process pain so it's just you're out like you they they probably didn't even it's not enough time for you to even realize what the fuck is going on Whoa. so they probably noticed they said they noticed something was wrong they tried to drop weight which means they tried to re they realized they need to go back to the surface and within that it's just like oh shit something's going on boom unless they saw like a crack in the window or some shit Someone taking a shit because this, this is where the toilet is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where niggas were taking a shit. Yeah. No, yeah, unless that. someone was taking a shit and then they're like, "What is that?" Yeah, you got. <laughs> and and then it's just you know, but um, uh, rest in peace to the nineteen-year-old. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everyone else, uh, especially the CEO, like bro, like you, you didn't take precautions. Yeah, like there's one of the things where like he purposely didn't put like an intercom to talk to the people up on top. Did you hear about that? No, he didn't put like a communication radio to talk to the people on top because he didn't want to be bothered while he's exploring down there. What? Yeah, that nigga deserved to die. I don't say that about a lot of people, but this nigga, you were because James Cameron was like, people have repeatedly told him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Over and over. That what you're doing is going to get you killed. Yeah. And this nigga brought I, I got two two N word jars. <laughs> um, but he brought innocent people, I don't want to say innocent billionaires, I don't know what they be doing. But the kid the kid you cost the kid his life, not only that, but your own life. You in the it's such a Michael Scott thing, and this is the last thing I'll say about it. He's such like a Michael Scott of submarines. It just the watching the videos of him being like, I want to be remembered as an innovator, as someone who broke the rules and did not follow status quo. And it's like, bro, when it comes to shit like that, maybe there's there's fucking requirements for a reason. Yeah. And he, I want to be remembered as someone that just pushed boundaries. You're going to be remembered as the dumbass that went down in a tin can yeah. and got locked in Davy Jones' locker. Yeah. You guys are shaking yeah. hands with everyone on the Titanic now. Oh, my God. You you hearing the the symphony, you you seeing Jack and whatever roles Bro. themselves in person because you're a dumbass. You love the Titanic so much, now you're a part of it.
which is a storybook ending. Yeah. Yeah. What a guy. I mean, just fuck that guy. What was his name? Stock Rusher or some shit? Stock Rusher, yeah. Hey, rest in peace to the kid. I mean, rest in peace to all of them. But, like, bro, you saw, there's warning signs, bro. Like, this could have been inedible. Ocean Gate sound like a pedal ring anyway. <laughs> oh, my, bro. Like, I know the Yelp reviews are going crazy right now for that company. Just shut it down. I don't, don't, don't try to do nothing else. That, that reputation is done. Yeah. No one's riding that ocean. Ocean Gate labeled on anything is done. I don't care if it's on fish at the market. Done. <laughs> Ocean Gate is done. Uh, That's all I got to say. You know what else is done? What? San Diego Comic Con is done, brother. No! <laughs> Bro, dude. No one's, no one's buying tickets. I mean, people are going. Well, no, it's, it's, but you might as well go to Anime Con. Yeah, like, yeah. that's going to be the same shit. Um, if you guys did not hear, uh, I want to shed a tear right now, bro. Oh, you were, bro. Every video you banked that Comic Con was gonna be it. Bomb. Oh, there was a bomb. A bomb did drop. You guys did not hear. It goes from Marvel, Universal, HBO, Netflix, Sony has all dropped out of Comic-Con, San Diego Comic-Con 2023. And it's all because of the writer strike and the impending SAG strike, mm. which is valid because pay the writers, actors need to like get their like well-due payment, and god damn it. Every, every motherfucker that's fighting the case right now just got, just got some extra time. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh... Although I hear Jonathan's case is looking pretty good for him. Oh, really? I, I think they dropped a lot of the charges and, and some evidence that's showing that the officers probably actually were being racist. Racist towards him. Oh, yeah, wow. Like yeah. racially profiling. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know. I haven't looked into it. I saw one TikTok about it, so don't quote me. But that's what I saw. Mm. So we might still have Kang on our hands. Maybe. Maybe. We don't have Marvel at our hands this year either oh, no. because I was... You I thought Fantastic Four was coming out. You thought you, you thought Con Con was about to look like Secret Wars. Like everybody was about to come out of portals onto the stage and shit. You were finna be there. You were finna walk out of the portal. You were gonna climb the stage with Kevin. Nah. I mean that what did you said is all on record. <laughs> uh, yeah, you said it. Yeah, you said it, it. it's all on record. Bro, it's so sad, guys. I mean, like, God damn. Don't cry, bro. Yeah. Look, it'll, it'll, it'll come back next year. I mean, yes, but, like, this was supposed to be kind of fighting his redemption arc, you know, because, once again, the new mentality and everything. But, I mean, also, Disney has Disney has been wanting to, like, pull out, step away from Comic-Con. The only reason why Marvel has been committed to Comic-Con is because of Feige, because Feige understands the importance of Comic-Con and being at Hall H. There's no D23 this year either. There is no D23. So that's why all the the announcements we may get, where we'll get the announcements is the Disney investor calls, which is where we have gone also. But that's next year, top of next year? This year. Oh, it's this year. Yeah, we're getting an investor call this year. So like that's where probably the announcements will be made, but it's just not as... They still got to cash in for the other year's announcements. What happened to all the Wakanda series? <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, there was so much shit that was announced last time yeah. that I have not seen come to fruition. Yeah. I will, it's not even Marvel, dude. Everyone's pulling out. Yeah. Well, if it's Strike, then yeah. Exactly. But I'm like, is it because do you need people to write what's being said on stage? Because everything's been halted, so maybe, yeah, like, they can't really, like, commit and be like, oh. this is coming, because they don't really know when it's coming. Well, yeah, that's a good right. point. Oh, like, um, yeah. Because, like, everything's been halted. Like, everything's been halted. Yeah. Uh. Well, that doesn't... Because I'm like, that doesn't stop. It's stuff that's in the process of writing, because I'm like, X-Men... 97 that has to be in post-production writing's already done yeah 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 uh casting isn't writing you can announce sure. with cast you can announce things that are are about to be put in production or whatever um if you don't have a date i mean that's fine but i mean a lot of the shit they've already announced we already know a lot of the upcoming projects so i'm trying to even think what the map would look like i, I maybe they just feel weird 
about it, you know, because yeah. of the, str- the strength. Well, yeah, I guess, I guess, because yes, again, you brought a point. It's not just Marvel; it's everybody. So they just all like they just don't like weird. They feel weird to like flex and be like, yeah. "This is all the shit." When like, this is what's going on in the film, tell like television world and stuff. You know, yeah. it's just it just bums me out because guys, I'm sorry, like I did not expect I- bombs. Man, this was the ball. You would go to sleep about it, dream about it. You have wet dreams about it. Like you, you thought this year was gonna be the year. Now we're just gonna get like a freaking video of Feige being like, Adam Adam Driver's Reed Richards, and this is our like. I mean, no, I want I want these motherfuckers to come out on stage. My, I mean, it probably was too late, but I'm glad I didn't buy my ticket because I was gonna be there singing in all age. I'm like, yeah, like next yeah. year. We got one year to blow up, and then Kevin Feige is gonna be like, "Hey, Nerd Hour, Idris and Corey, pull up." And we're gonna be like, "Are you gonna be there?" I'm trying to have Kevin call me for other shit, but that's I don't know, man. It's just every day it's like we stray further away from God's light. You know who's like Marvel? Mike. We both about to cry right now. Yeah, it was a sad moment. You know who's for sure is willing to call you? This is kind of a diss, but I'm sorry. Uh, Ghostbusters. Sony. So <laughs> because we have you seen the trailer for Craven Hunter? I did not watch the trailer, no. Okay. I so saw I'm probably gonna watch this alone, like how I watched it. I heard movies. a bunch of people saying it's the same movie though. What do you as everything else, like Mo- Morbius and Venom, how it's like a villain, but they try to redeem him or some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that vibe for sure. They just all the Sydney Sony movies that have like the same vibe. So weird to think about like Sony's putting out shit like this, but also across the Spider Verse. Well, Sony Animation is different than Sony point. Pictures. Um, I don't know. Like it was, it just looks, dude. It's not even Craven the Hunter. It's Craven the Animal Activist. Really? Is, he, is Peta as a killer? It, he's not even like he's like killing hunt like poachers, but he's like wait, that's his character. See, this is what I brought up the other. I was like, how's that gonna work? And I was like, how's Spider Man gonna be his villain? If he's an animals rights activist, yeah. Sony's gonna sell me, bro. I don't know. I mean, did you see online like how he got his powers? No. So in the comics, he gets his powers through I forgot her name, but it's more like uh, like voodoo esque, okay. you know, like this uh, this woman like. What is his powers? Just super strength? Yeah, he's like basically juiced up. That's how he's able to fight against Spider Man, yeah. right? He's like basically like Spider Man's powers, just super strong, yeah, fast, right? Um, and doesn't like likes fighting with his hands. That's how he can fight Spider Man. That's how he, you know, super. Um, he gets it through like this character in the comics in like Africa where like she like voodoo's him, and then he gets his mystical powers. But in this in the trailer, he's like he's a kid. He's like it's him and his brother. Right? He's just pure angst. That <laughs> and then Russell Crowe's father is like making him like like hunt down a lion, and he's like shooting the lions like right, and then Crowe's goes like shoot back, and then like he misses, and the lion mauls him like. Yeah. And then, like, as he's mauling him, you just see, like, a drop from a lion, like, from the lion, a drop of blood. Into Mal- his mouth? <laughs> Damn near. Into a wound. Oh. And then you see, and he goes into, like, his blood system. And it's like, there's there's some motherfucker that got mauled by a lion in the hospital. It's like, there's nothing wrong like that. There's nothing like how it is. I'm sorry. <laughs> For false fuck, I don't know, but that's how they get this power. Some Spider-Man shit. A drop of blood from a lion goes into him, and now he's able to like communicate with animals and like have the suit. That is not it. how it works at all. At all. So it's just a regular ass lion. I would yeah. believe the voodoo chick more than the. Would you? Why didn't he commit to the voodoo chick? Dude, maybe it can be stereotypically like racist or some shit. I mean, yeah, true. true, true. true. I mean, there is a, also a quick scene like where he's like in the forest and like there's like spiders coming down. Like, ooh, Spider Man. Yeah. So a lion attacked him. Yeah. After he tried to shoot it. Yeah. Then he became Lion Man. Yeah. And then decided, you know what? I need to protect what almost killed me because I almost killed it. I guess. Yeah, yeah. And now that, yeah, because I guess you become fucking Snow White <laughs> at that point. Yeah. And you just, you talk to everybody in the fucking forest and the rabbits are like, hey, bro, you got to stop this shit. <laughs> and he's like, you know what? Bet. Bet. And so he goes to New York City. Yeah. 
Um, Some goddamn reason. <laughs> uh, I mean, Aaron Tanner Dante. Isn't his wife directing this? I don't know, man. His wife is like fifty or something. Yeah, yeah. That's a that's a whole other controversy. Yeah, but, like yeah. But um, I mean, the only thing I'm hyped really for is the fact that it's a rated R. So I mean, I saw the Red Band trailer. He bites a guy's nose off. Mm-hmm. This is the first Sony like, um, Spider-Man universe adjacent movie that's rated R, and the villain in this is the Rhino. I, I get more confused yeah. the more details I learn. But I'm stoked because it's not like a mech- mechanical suit rhino. It's an actual transformative. He's turning, he, he, at the end you see his skin turn like really rough and like rhino-esque. And it's like gonna, I'm so... It's, is he it's, still gonna have like the face that's poking no. through? Is that the, is that what you're right over? <laughs> I'm just so, it's gonna look so bad. It has to look, there's no way it's gonna make it cool, you know? But like, I'm just so curious how they're gonna do an actual rhino. You know, I sometimes wonder if they purposely make things bad. Like, off, let's say like Morbius, right? Mm-hmm. But people saw Morbius because they heard how bad it was. Yeah. So I'm like, do they do that on purpose sometimes at this point? Like, it seemed like Sony, they're just making the same movie they know most times people are not going to like mm. Um, when it comes to the villains. Uh because I'm like, why not just tell the regular villains? Well, I guess it's difficult when you don't have Spider-Man. Exactly. To, so I get it, Sony. I get it. Yeah. Condolences to yeah. you and your your crew. But you're doing what you can, I guess. Yeah. Sony's going to Sony. Um, We'll see what happens. You going to watch it with me? Craven? Yeah. You know, I'll watch it on TikTok. All right. All right. I watched Morbius alone. If we watched... Venom 2 together, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah I saw that in theaters, so I must have been with you. Yeah. Um, I saw Warmius alone. I'm going to see this alone. It's all good. I'll come back with a review. Probably going to be bad. Not as bad as. There's no way. It's already better than Morbius because it's rated R and it's going to be crazy. Are we watching the Marvels? Yes. <sighs> we are. Okay. We are because I just saw something there online that they're going to set up a certain. Young team at the end. This is the entryway to Young Avengers? That's the rumor. <laughs> That's the rumor. Uh, That's the rumor. And the post credits? Yep. Well, of course, it has to be post credits. Yep. Uh, I'm a little jealous at Elijah Richardson, you know, because I feel like I could have, if you know, if not Miles, I could have definitely made a good Young Patriot. Oh, for sure. But for sure. You know, they gave it to him pretty early. They didn't give uh, anybody else a shot. Yeah. Uh, not going to hate on another black man. But, you know, I see him. He, that, that man's been in the gym. Yeah, he's been preparing for, for this moment. And so, by all means, uh, just make sure you don't got another hidden in the trunk. It's vet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> vet. Got a vet. Yeah. Uh, and then Kate Bishop and all that, I guess happy for all of them. I, you know, at school, one day I'll give my shot, I guess. Yeah. But the the black roles are very few. Yeah. <laughs> Dwindling. Yeah. Dwindling. We're running out of black roles on MCU. Um, James Gunn, please make make the DC good. Yeah. Oh. All right. Do you want to handle this next topic? Because you brought it up and you're reminding me. I'm gonna hit. My oh. thing again. Idris will run this one. Uh, there you go. I've never had a a topic before. Um, yeah. So basically, in across the Spider Verse, mm. Beyond the Spider Verse is slated to come out May next, March, March twenty twenty four. That was the slate. Yeah, and um, who called you? Pick up. <laughs> you know who called me. You pick up. <laughs> I can't. You can't? I can't. Oh. <laughs> We're going to let this one ring. Oh, damn. I just got into it. Um. Anyways, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I thought he was going to call again. Um. So, yeah, slated for May 2024. Uh, the possibility of that happening is very slim now. 
Uh, it might get pushed to 2025. Could it be even pushed to 2026? Mm. Because the workers are like, hey, bro, this shit hard. <laughs> this shit hard as hell, bro. <laughs> we fuck with the fact that y'all like this shit, but the animators are like, bro, this shit take time, bro. They keep making us redo this shit. We tired. And y'all want us to just hop right into the third one and say it's going to come out next year? Are you fucking crazy? <laughs> It took us three years to come out with this one. What the fuck are y'all thinking? Yeah. So they're like, I quit. A hundred of them. A bunch of them quit. Yeah. They're like, we we can't, we can't. Y'all working us to the bone. Yeah. Um, and uh, so they're having a bunch of issues on the animator side, uh, because of hours and and just the amount of work needed to be done is just overbearing, and they they just they ain't having it no more. They would not have it all. Black Panther reference. Mm. Um, it's unnecessary. But uh, yeah, so uh, you know. Also, another thing, there are different versions of this movie. We were onto something with we the Flash. Thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. With yeah. the Flash, I saw that. Like, it's very just small, like, uh, like lines that yeah. change. But that's still cool. And everyone gets their own little experience sometimes. I wonder if that happened because of the audio change. And they were like, hey, let's just switch it. Nah, because they're complete scenes like that are different. Wow. Yeah, it's like it's like with forgot the characters' names, but like there's certain scenes where it's like one character will be doing one thing and another version do another thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even when it comes down to like lines and stuff. But those I mean, that that shouldn't affect with them having to, that wouldn't be a, a, a side effect of them having to fix the audio. True, true. Um, they would just remaster the audio. True. Uh, but yeah, this seems purpose. The editor came out and was like, he was like, I was waiting for when people were gonna start noticing there's different versions. Mm -hmm. So they did it on purpose. Yeah. Which is dope. I think that's really cool. Like, yeah. um, we wanted Flash to do that with the post credit scenes. That would be cool. So, uh. Someone now being shown that it can be done and that people enjoy it. Someone ha to have the balls to actually just do that with the post credit scenes. It's like a cool Easter egg, you yeah. know. Like if you know, you know. Like you don't really have to advertise. Like it's a different cut. Yeah. It's just kind of like it's subtle enough where it's just like if you are. Yeah. If you're like, wait a sec, but you have to see the movie more than once to realize. Exactly. So it's all a trap. It's all a capitalism trap. as its finest. It's all a trap. Uh, if you got twenty dollars and each ticket. Cost ten dollars. See Spider Verse twice. Yep, and you might notice something. Um, but yeah. So overall, I mean, animation is difficult. That's one thing. Animation takes time, and I can imagine a project like this takes a lot of time. I mean, anime in itself, you know, could take two to three years for a season of a show. Mm -hmm. Like, so this is all sorts of animation. You have all sorts of countless animators whatever working on this or whatever you got to make sure everything corresponds with each other the layer everything excuse me um you know i can see how it can be draining and how it could be uh tedious and how you know it's like everything needs to be perfect and that's one thing people crown spider-verse on it's like it's damn near perfect yeah you know down to every minute detail you know, and uh, it was just, it's just amazing. And that takes work. No. Uh, now, you know, everyone has their opinion. You know, there's people, you know, seeing those those tweets stating all that and people being like, well, y'all signed up for it. Yeah, yeah. That's the job. Yeah. Don't hate when a job become a job. Yeah. But uh, it is a lot of sleepless nights. So I do, I do feel a little bit, uh, or not even a little bit, I do feel, you know, empathy and sympathy towards you know the situation or whatever but you know uh they're not machines no human beings a amy pascal cannot wait for the to just replace everybody with ai oh god uh that could have been a good segue but also uh i think it's gonna come out if it comes out it's not gonna come out next year there's no, no way it's not coming out next year. if it comes out 2025 Oh no, 2020 next year is the really good Marvel slate with like uh, Thunderbolts. 2025, year of Fantastic Four will be crazy year. 2026, Secret Wars, you know, also crazy. I feel it'll come back 2026. Even to that point of push, pushing it, right? 
the more they, I feel like the more they push the third one, the longer we are going, the longer we're going to go without a live action Miles. Mm. Like, I feel like, like they're not going to introduce a live action Miles until this is done. Mm. Um, and even then, I feel like it won't be right after. You're still checking your mics. Yeah, I feel like it won't be right after. It will be, uh, they will wait a little bit after that to let it die down and then introduce. Yeah, so sure. we probably ain't get a live action Miles until the, probably like the next six to seven years. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. After Sinker Wars for sure. Yeah, so at that point, he might as well, he might as well just be a kid. Spider-Man, Miles Brown's homies. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, so, I, the, but, yeah, I think, I think end of 2025, maybe. I don't know, but they've, they've kept all the releases, like, up in the springtime, haven't they? End of 2025, early 26. They also said they're going to explore multiple variations of Gwen as well. I think we're going to get multiple variations of a bunch, all the characters. Mm -hmm. And I also vividly remember they were like, oh yeah, Japanese Spider-Man's going to be in it. And that's what I was really stoked for. And because I think they, you know, they all planned to be like one movie before they split it up. So I think it's going to be the next one. Japanese Spider-Man. So awesome. Yeah, this just seems, there's a lot of work going into that last movie. Mm -hmm. And they are asking for it in such little time. By March yeah. next year. Yeah. I mean, Haley said she didn't really like report her lines. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. They they knew that shit wasn't coming out. For sure, for sure. They already knew that shit. Yeah. But they just want to say shit. <laughs> Sony. Sony's going to Sony. What color am I wearing, Jace? Is this how I test if I'm colorblind or not? No. Brown? What? It's green. Because I'm a scroll. Ah! Well, I'm colorblind. Secret invasion. That's a good little... Yeah, Samuel L. motherfucking Jackson. Yeah. Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah. Samuel L. Jackson. Samuel Jackson. Just another one from Good Measures. Samuel L. Jackson. Mr. Sam Jackson is another actor that plays himself. Yeah. He's good at being himself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he is Nick Fury. He is Nick Fury, but like... I just... Samuel L. Jackson as Nick Fury. Yeah, yeah. I mean, real quick thoughts, right? I mean... It was a good first episode. You know, sets the tone. It was cool, yeah. Uh, the first, you know, the intro scene. Uh, very, I mean, I get the paranoia vibe, right? Like People did not like the fact it was AI-based. Oh, and that's what I wrote down. I mean, let's, I mean, okay. Oh, I was talking about the intro at the start of the show. Oh, right. But let's get to that. Because that's a pretty good point. Yeah, the intro is completely made out of AI. But people thought it was just AI. But when you look through the credits, it was like, like workers who do, did the AI. Yeah. You know, so it was, they didn't get rid of the jobs. There's still people who did the AI. Yeah, they it's just, the AI. but I don't think that's a problem. Of course, they got to hire people to make, make yeah. the AI art, but it's replacing the artists, actual artists that probably could have done it yeah. with AI. But my thing is this, I'm like, I kind of get the meta-ness of having the AI art in the intro because it's like, it's something that, appears to be what it should be but it's not it's like it's fake it's like it should appear to be you know real art but it's not just like scrolls they appear to be real people but they're not real people that's good obviously. so because i'm like if that was a, if that wasn't the case if it wasn't an artistic decision all marvel's intros would be fucking ai mm. <laughs> it'd be like but that's not i i see the point of why they did it and i can pass that point of being like yeah that's dope that's a dope concept or whatever um i just think you know of course artists are sensitive and they you know they rather them do it or whatever but i'm like in this one case i'm like i get it i'm like i'm i i fuck with the concept i fuck with the idea with the theory and meta-ness behind it um big ai supporter i'm not a big ai supporter but you you support AI. i i i dibble and dabble yeah you know i think i think ai is a tool and it you know it's like you know, is is a thing where I'm not an artist, right? So I'm not, I can't speak on that, but I'm speaking on and just AI in general is like, you know, it's like either you can't fight it, to, you yeah. know, is this is something that's inevitably going to take over a lot of things. So you might as well start learning now and try to use it as something that can push you in some ways or forms or whatever. Um, again, it's a tool, it's an extension. 
uh, it's not end all be all um, in some cases. A lot of cases they do try to make it like, you know, writer strike. That's why we're fucking fighting for the writer strike because studios want that, make that an end all be all. Writers can use AI as a tool, but when you're trying to just make it an end all be all situation, of like we only want to use AI, then it becomes a problem. Um, because then you start losing jobs and then whatever, all that shit. Uh, in this case, I feel like this is a one-off situation. They're not gonna, you know, um, carry this on throughout everything else. So I'm like, cool. That is. Yes. All right. All right, back to the yes. show. You like it? It was cool. Um, it was cool. It wasn't. To me, it wasn't a crazy first. We're not spoiling, right? Not yet, not yet. I mean, yeah. yeah. Um, non-spoiler, I I don't like... I don't like how Nick Fury is being portrayed in this because I always thought he was cooler. Mm. Well, that's the whole thing, right? He's like, because of the blip and like, he's like kind of like down on himself. He's not full. I think by the end of it, he's going to be back to Nick Fury. But I don't... I don't even see... Like, I, I don't see a reason why his character really would. I understand they said, oh, the blip gave him, you know, uh, uh, I, something. Well, it was like, oh, it gave him something to think about that there's some things, like some things he can't control. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The blip, bring yeah. It but I'm like, this nigga's dealt with aliens and all sorts of shit mm-hmm. his whole life. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I. I would think he will wrap his mind around something that is completely out of his control. Mm. Um, Cause a lot of shit, Nick Fury cannot handle himself. Yeah. Hence the Avengers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like something like the blip. It is not even something, it's like Nick Fury doesn't have family. He doesn't, Who? what did he care about that he lost during the blip? Natasha. Oh, during the blip? Or like, like yeah, because of the blip. Yeah, like uh-huh. who did he lose that was so close to him? This well, he also got blipped. So again, we're coming back. He lost Natasha. He lost Tony. That's what you know. Like, did he, was he really friends with Tony? I mean, we didn't get like enough scenes, but I think like he cared. I mean, yeah, the whole Iron Man too, but you know. And- but that leads me to believe that it's like Nick Fury doesn't know how to deal with death. I think mm. Nick Fury knows how to deal with death for sure. I think Nick Fury like knows how to deal with losing people around him. Mm-hmm. He's willing to take motherfuckers out himself if it comes down to it. So it's just hard for me to believe that he's like this different person mm. because of the blip. Be- and if he, because he got blipped, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It, but it's not even that. That wasn't even what I was referring to. But it's just like he seems a little more jokey, not serious. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, like he was, and I love Samuel Jackson. Don't get me wrong. And Samuel Jackson jokes or whatever. But it did seem a little bit off from usual Nick Fury demeanor. Yeah. Um, he just didn't seem like you could take him as serious. Yeah. I mean, also, just with the Disney Plus shows, I mean, my minor grab, like, the budget, right? The CGI. Yeah. Like, he... Spoiler? Spoiler time? I mean, like, a little... It's not even like, crazy. Okay, my... Just quick thought. Oh, oh, real quick. I, yeah. Just to wrap, like, completely land mm-hmm. my plane. Um, it felt like, instead of watching Nick Fury, you were watching his character from Pulp Fiction. Oh, how interesting. Yeah. How interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah I could see that. That's what it felt like to me. Go ahead. Like, just, I thought it was a fine first episode. Sets up the, the parano- paranoia aspect well. Nick Fury's back. The scrolls are, now we get to see finally not good scrolls in Captain Marvel. They're actually villains as they're supposed to be, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, them tidying it, secret invasion, after hearing that, I don't know, it's five years, they whoever wasn't allowed to read the secret invasion comic book mm. really kind of makes me sad. Why, you know, like, so you're making up your own. Wait, oh, wait, who was in the lab? The, the showrunner wasn't allowed to read the secret invasion comic books. While he making the show? Yeah, he didn't read it at all. He just, it's called secret invasion. Here's his script and did it. Oh, because they didn't want him being influenced by the comic? I guess, yeah. Interesting. Weird stuff. Um, I'm curious of how this is going to end. 
curious as to who we're going to find out who's a scroll. And it's already, if I'm, you know, going to rank it, it's already, already kind of like better than some, right? Yeah. From the first episode alone. Uh, are we, are we in spoilers right now? Or? I mean, let's get into spoilers. Spoilers. All right. My hand is up. As long as my hand is up, we're talking about spoilers. Either come back, mute it. Once you see this down, we're good. Use your other hand. Because I, I don't know. This. Oh, true, true, true. Um, Ray Hill dies at the end of this episode. Yeah. Colby Spoulders. And apparently she, like, actually dies. Actually they're, dead. They're saying, like, she's actually dead. Yeah. Um, That fake out. <laughs> that that clone fake out. That was crazy. Yeah. That was crazy. Ray Hill, come here. Bam. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. <laughs> I know you're doing. <laughs> even, like, the fake out in the beginning with, uh, what's his name? The guy, the old... Uh, oh, uh, with... Agent Ross. Agent Ross. I mean, yeah. he just was a scroll. I mean, a scroll yeah. to be him. I mean, like, yeah. Look, I mean, it's a, it's a first episode. It does. It it doesn't weigh too much on this, but it does cause paranoia of like, who is the scroll, who's not. A yeah, I nearly felt that. I yeah. nearly felt that. Even you know, because even with them talking, it was like, damn, is Ross a scroll or is he exactly? Nice? And then the guy, yeah, whenever goes for him you're like oh shit and then he's like you about to kill hey, Ross on accident and I was like wait but, hmm. yeah. and then just a lot I've seen like him like jump off the roof and land yeah. like just a oh yeah off. no that that was that was a dead giveaway yeah 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 just a little just him like he landed splat on yeah. his face yeah and dead giveaway exactly um and then you know we'll see him as a scroll yeah I mean uh Hopefully, like you said, Samuel Jackson's character kind of evolves back to that state. Yeah. Like, so maybe, yeah, towards the end, we'll get that badassness, you know, yes. that we're used to. Yes. Um, homegirl in red that Nick Fury went to go visit. Who is she? No, no. I, I feel like she's maybe she's a new character. Okay. Amelia Clark. Yeah, yeah, I see Amelia Clark. My baby. Yeah. My baby. Um, love, love her. Uh, generational talent. <laughs> generational performances game of thrones uh she's gonna be remembered throughout time yeah um you know seeing her jump from that to this is a little bit of a temperature change mm -hmm. but you know glad to see her around i did not realize how small she was teeny tiny she's very she looks very short yeah. um and she's talos's daughter yep gaia gaia mm -hmm. and uh you didn't really find much about her out much found find out too much about her this episode. Uh she tricked him though. Yes. Kind of dirty. She said fuck you. Yeah. yeah she yeah. she reeled him in and tricked him. Yeah. Uh which for that, you know, I'm always gonna forgive you, Amelia. <laughs> I'm always gonna love you. The clean yourself. Yeah. Uh uh Daenerys Targaryen. Yeah. And um Yeah, I mean the Stuff happened in this episode, but it wasn't. It wasn't a lot. There was a lot of talking. A lot of talking. It, it, this is this is Marvel and or Star Wars show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it does come off more like just like a detective, yeah. you know, type slow burn yeah. type of show. Um, but yeah. With that being said, it, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. But it wasn't. I wasn't like, oh, this is crazy. Like, yeah. There's there's a. I mean, all right. Spoiler is done. Done. Uh, there is a show where his first episode I thought was like way better than this. Sorry guys, Cameron died. Um, back. Uh, so if you see a weird cut, yeah, and that's what it is. Uh, let's just get honorable mentions out of the way. Werewolf by Night. Well, we'll reintroduce it. Oh yes. So we're gonna rank the top eight shows, right? Yeah. Uh, but those are the series. Werewolf on Night, Guardians, Holiday Special were one shots, specials, but I'm just going to say it. They were great. Mm -hmm. Not even saying that because we went to a special preview night's premiere thing. The girlies went out. The girlies went out. We had a few drinks. Had a few drinks. We had like the special drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We haven't been invited to another one since. No. No, last one we went to was, was it that one? Yeah. The Guardians one. Yeah. And I feel like we haven't been invited because those were just like, you know, like specials. They're like, ah, yeah, yeah, there yeah. hasn't been another special. Yeah. And then, like, the shows have been like premieres. Yeah. Which we will get invited to one soon. Yeah. But just honorable mentions, they're great. Mm -hmm. Like, they're literally great. Where by Night was sick, you know, Man Thing, awesome. 
and Guardians of the Holiday Special was awesome. It was mm -hmm. good. Had a good time. Yeah. First time we saw Cosmo. But um, all right. Number eight for me personally is She Hulk. Right. Low tier. How about you? Uh, the ass make it top tier. That is true. Mega the Stallion. Mega the Stallion's at shaking ass with with She Hulk. Yeah. All the people, I'm jealous of all the people who got to smash She Hulk. And also, Matt Murdock got to smash She Hulk. As well. Every person that got to smash She Hulk, I fucking hate. Yeah. Can you imagine fucking She Hulk? That's a lot. That's a lot. Break the bed type shit. <laughs> she just. Mine, mine, mine. Bro, you would die, bro. I would love to die that way. <laughs> so for that, number one. But really. Number eight. Number seven for me, personally, it's Hawkeye. Just go through your list. I was just... Oh, uh, Hawkeye, personally, for me, uh, it was... I Holidays, like, one of my... Holiday. Christmas is one of my favorite holidays. So, like, it was cool, like, to feel the Christmas vibe. Um, but, like, introduction to Kingpin was all right. Uh, obviously, he's not going to be the same as the Netflix one, but just the tone downness was so abrasive also echo was just a random shoe in and we're still getting the echo show by the end of the year which is pretty interesting uh, i mean some of my highlights were just my queen florence pew seeing her there was awesome trying to kill hawkeye um kate bishop's introduction i think Haley steinfeld's a great kate bishop um yeah it, it was just kind of forgettable it was fine it was fine uh my number six is Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Um, it's been quite a while now, but I also remember that it was fine. Uh, I mean, some of my favorite parts were just him getting a suit. That was awesome. Straight out of the comics. One of the most comic accurate suits that like Marvel's ever done. And then the title sequence at the end where it went from Falcon the Winter Soldier to Captain America Winter Soldier, that whole flip, right? And then now he's getting his own movie, Cap 4. Stoked for him. So to see how it turns out, just the whole, I don't know, the whole script got changed because of the pandemic, and it was just kind of, it was fine, just riding off of after WandaVision, um, yeah, it was, it was cool, it was cool. That was number six, my number five is, what it, what's your number five? Top five, come on. My top five? Yeah, because he didn't see Miss Marvel. Uh, number one is Loki. Number two would probably be I like Moon Knight. Mm -hmm. Um so I'm gonna say Moon Knight for number two. Mm -hmm. Uh number three, WandaVision. Number four, what if? And number five, damn. Yeah. We getting into the bad ones. Um, yeah. Number five, Hawkeye. Mm. But that's still your top five. Yeah, I, I enjoyed Hawkeye more than Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Okay. More than She-Hulk. Yep. I did not watch Miss Marvel. Okay. And yeah, so it'll be Loki, Moon Knight. Although, uh, a lot of people didn't like Moonlight, Moon Knight. No. I like Moon Knight. Mm. So yeah, that's my personal opinion. Fuck y'all. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna backpedal, and yeah. then I decided, nah, I got nuts. <laughs> Fuck y'all, Moon Knight number two. Uh, my top five are What If because animated and all the What If. Uh, they were not all bangers, but they were cool, yeah. right? I'm excited for season two. Um, so that's just What If. My number four. Where should I put What If? Number four. I think I did. You said Loki, Moon Knight, WandaVision, WandaVision, What, what If, Hawkeye. Oh, yep. So my number five is what if. My number four actually is Miss Marvel. Miss mm -hmm. Marvel, like people were like shitting on it. It was so good. It was very, very good. Because it was just like uh I forgot her name, but Kamala Khan, the actress, she's an unknown. She played the very much Peter Parker as stoked to be here. I'm an I'm a superhero now. I was good. The family dynamic was super good. You know, love the family characters, even though the dad has been accused also been accused of some What? Yeah, I said that in the group chat. Yeah, anyways. Yeah, um, 
the actor, the actor who played the dad. It was, um, but it, it was all very good. And the big reveal, right? I mean, you saw she is Miss Marvel's not anything more. Oh yeah, she's a mutant. She's a mutant. Literally, her best friend was just like, "There's a mutation in your gene." <laughs> that's what literally what happened. I was just like, oh, well, I'm down. Yeah, like, and that's how they're doing. Them. They, I only saw them these past like few weeks. They killed her off in the comics. Yeah. To bring her back as a mutant to coincide. The oh. Yeah. Because she's still an inhuman in the comics. Kevin Feige back at it again. Yeah. Kevin Feige said, hey, revamp it. Reboot it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that's my number four. My number seven. My top three. My third favorite Marvel movie, Marvel show, is Moon Knight. I thought Moon Knight was great. Uh, I, well, the first episode went crazy. Mm-hmm. Went crazy. I mean, it teetered off towards the end, you know, with the whole, like, I don't know, spiritual realm and stuff. Nah, that shit was... When he was in the asylum and, like, with the hippo and everything. Okay, true, true, true. And that, that, and that one would have cried, bro. Yes, but, oh, yeah, and then, like, I heard... Why am I blanking? Yes, I do agree, but... um. I really liked it just because of Oscar Isaac yeah. and the way that he played the two roles, yeah. you know, like, and then like, it's like, oh, so good. It was so good. Yeah. And then Moon Knight's one of my favorite characters. So finally seeing him in like a live action format, I just think it's super sick. He put his whole Moon Knight Ussie in that. And- <laughs> Moon Ussie. Moon Ussie, yeah. <laughs> um, and then, you know, the very end with the team of Jake Lockley, his, yeah. his third personality, which was like kind of. Do you think we get a, sec- a second season? Yes, I don't. And they were kind of talking about it of a second season of Moon Knight, or he's gonna be in like a not Midnight Angels, uh, the Dark Team. I'm blanking on the Dark Team. That really, uh, uh, forgot. Midnight Suns. Midnight Suns. Yeah. A Midnight Sun show or movie because of Blade, and then oh, that'd be awesome. Uh, but then are they gonna put Jake Lockley in that, or just have him like his third? Yeah, maybe, maybe. Mm-hmm. Um, Ethan Hawke, mm-hmm. great villain. That was mm-hmm. cool. Uh, the girly, his like girlfriend, who's now like a superhero. Mm-hmm. She got the wings. She's also getting introduced in the comics. The first I think it's like Egyptian. Yeah, I would say was she the first Marvel like superhero that Marvel MCU created. That's now being put in the comics? Yeah, like the first, I think so. Or there's something along the, along those lines. Um, but yeah, Moon Knight was, is my third. A top two. I mean, once I say under two, the number one's obvious. And I want to say they're both, in a way, sentimental reasons and like nostalgia. But um, my number two is Loki. Loki was great. Loki was Loki. Loki is number two? Loki was number two. Because of just, oh, that was like the tease, right? Of like the multiverse and then like variants. And we got to see Kid Loki and Alligator Loki sure. and then the OG Loki. And then, you know, and Sylvie, right? And just that night, because it was always teased of like he who remained, like of the building up of. Oh, yeah. Come um, on, dude. Uh, uh, like, yeah. You know, like building up to like who is actually behind the Wizard of Oz aspect of the whole show. And then boom, behind the curtain, that elevator door opens. We were together. Girl. That's why I'm like, that shit number one. Yeah. That shit number That ending was great. It was great. It was great. And we see Jonathan Majors for the first time as a King variant, he who remains was fucking insane. It was awesome. It was incredible. So your first is Wanda. My favorite show is Wanda. And that's just because of... Well, first off, each episode was a different era. Awesome. Uh, Catherine Hahn as Agatha. Amazing. Fine milk. Fine milk. It was fine milk all around. Freaking Lizzie Olsen, bro. Come on, bro. Oh... Giving me flashbacks. Yes, bro. And then, WandaVision being the first MCU TV show, Disney Plus show, was, it was honestly smart, right? Um, the whole, Cat Dennings? Oh! Cat yeah, Dennings. Yeah. The Asian guy? Dude, everyone, everyone. Wait, like, that's not, who, that's not why I was mentioning it. I know, I know, I know. But just everyone is so good in it. But yes, Kevin. what's his name? Kim Park or what's it? Randall Park. Randall, Randall Park. Awesome magic trick. Um, 
and just each episode. But that being, I think it was still during the pandemic when, yes, it was that came out. And just us, like, watching each episode and just the whole, I mean, yes, even though we were like, it wasn't Mephisto, it was not Mephisto all along. Yeah. But just the hype, the hype, it's like, it has to be Mephisto, it has to be Mephisto. And then, okay, granted the finale, it just was, we hyped ourselves so much that we're like, I remember, like, it has to be Mephisto. Yeah. And it wasn't Mephisto. Ralph Boner, even though I wasn't insane just for the bit, seeing, um... At, what's his name? Evan Peters. Evan Peters as, and then even that, we're just like, oh my God, the X Men, the X Men. Yeah. You know, just the whole feeling of just like that was just so good. Um, and then, yeah, granted, yes, it did not turn out how it was supposed to be, but just how uh, Matt Shackman, the showrunner, right? He look, he got Fantastic Four because of that show. Mm. Um, I just thought it was so good, just the vibe of that. The, the, the each episode was so different and then finally like the last two episodes of it turning to like an mcu show it was just good it was just awesome i i, I miss those days i mean the finale we had a little watch party with some of our friends in like her garage monica rambo monica rambo intro fine 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 black woman fine <laughs> man Keep going. Um, the introduction of Rambo as um, I'm forgetting her character. Her character? Uh, uh, Maria Rambo. Her superhero name. Oh, uh, Photon. Photon. And Anna Photon. Yeah, I mean that's her segue into the Marvels, right? And ah, oh, just the whole hype and the whole energy that that brought. I mean, once again, granted. Finale did was was not what we expected. White Vision just blew out of the way. Mm-hmm. Coming back in Vision Quest, supposedly. But um yeah, I am and then it's so now Secret Invasion, our next show, mm-hmm. right? We will insert this when the show is over because it's too early to call. We can't put this in. But I mean look. Okay. Five, I, I think it's gonna be top five. And bottom two, three, four. I think it will be top five as well. Yeah. I think it will be top five as well. It could easily beat Hawkeye for me. Easily beat Hawkeye. Easily beat She-Hulk. Easily beat what if, like... Honestly, yeah, it's already a top five. It's going to be a top five. It's already going to be, I mean... I, Samuel Jackson? Yes, exactly. It, 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 it is, honestly, yeah, let's call it. It's in top five, but let's see if it could push yeah. any of my five out. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, yeah, I mean, you already pushed what if out, right? But could it be better than Miss Marvel? Could it be better than Moon Knight? The ending has to be so crazy where it could it be better than Loki. I don't know. Man. Who is going to be a scroll? Mm-hmm. Evie is a scroll. You a scroll, man. <laughs> Talk to me. <laughs> anyway. But that is our ranking of the current MCU shows. We'll loop back around when um, Secret Evasion uh, ends and we'll put a solid answer to that. But um, thank you guys for watching. I mean, I'm just going to let you guys know now, there will not be an episode airing next week. I am currently planning, no, I'm going to Japan next week. So expect uh, some footage. We'll, I'll do maybe, we'll do insert some clips into the podcast next week of some Japan nerdy stuff that I go see. Follow us on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter for all of like behind the scenes of my little ventures in Japan. Uh, I'm very stoked for that. Um, do you want to plug anything with drinks? Uh, and with that, guys, episode eight of Nerd Hour. Deuces. <laughs>